Hey guys, Paul with ConvertingCopy.com and today a quick overview of how to use the Disavow Links tool in Google Webmaster Tools. I've talked at length in the past about how negative search engine optimization can affect your site. Someone can actually create spammy and low quality links in mass and in great numbers, send them towards your site and then Google can see those and maybe assume that you're trying to game the system and punish you as a result. They don't like low quality links associated with your site because they begin to associate your site with those low quality links. So it can be used as an offensive weapon against other webmasters and for the longest time everyone kinda shook their heads and said that Google had ways of figuring out and making the difference between uh, an unnatural link and a natural link one that you created versus one that someone else created but honestly it's very realistically it's very difficult to differentiate one from the other which is why I think they're kind of admitting that with creating this disavow links tool which they put out at the end of last year so basically you need to have a Google Webmaster Tools account and um, I'll create a link in the description of this video to show about how to go about doing that but um, once you have your site put in to your Google Webmaster Tools account, you can add in all of your various websites that you own. So after you have that, you want to come up to this link up here, this URL, webmaster slash tools slash disavow links main. And then they're going to have a whole list of all of your sites. You select the one that you want to disavow links from. So I have my how to set up a website easy.info site. Just click disallow disavow links and they're gonna ask you one more time uh, just kind of a warning this is an advanced feature use it with caution and yes we've already decided that so basically how you do it is you create a text file of all of the links which are pointing to your site and you believe are unnatural and spammy so just create a text file Add in all of those links. Got a vast run in there. Add in all of those links, and you can just pull those from maybe a tool like Market Samurai or just anything that you can use, even Google Webmaster Tools, to check out all of the links that you're receiving pointing to your site, your entire link profile. So you can just pick and pull the ones that you think are doing the damage, you as the webmaster, and then just add them all in here one by one. I just added kind of a a fake spam site.com just to show you. So once you have that text file created, just choose file. I have it all queued up right here. Double click or click open there and then click submit. And now Google is going to make a point to uh, consider all of the links which are in that text file you just uploaded as being low quality or spammy. But the main point is they will not count them in the link profile to your site. All right, so you can edit the list by downloading it there and making changes to it if you want, or you can delete it if you decide that all those links are actually a good thing or they disappeared or something like that. Either way, um, that's how you go about doing it. And when you're done, just click done, and there you go. And you can do it with all your sites if you want. Just uh, just take a look. It's important. Just a reminder to take a look at all the links pointing to your site so that you can differentiate which ones maybe you didn't create and which ones. Not, I mean, obviously, people are going to be creating links to your site, but which ones are of low quality and which ones are potentially just out to sabotage your site and its rankings. All right? So you can learn more about this in the post, which I've created and linked to in the description. But that's how you go about doing it. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.